Republicans in Congress are also dismissing the January 6th panel. Here's House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy. The committee um, is not a legitimate committee. The, they've never allowed Republicans to be appointed to the committee. We tried to participate. The speaker went against 232 years of history, rejecting that. Um, it's really just something that goes after their political opponents. What we really should be going after is the rise of inflation, the gas price, the crime, and secure our borders. And New York Representative Elise Stefanik with this, the greatest distraction on earth is about to begin. Brought to you by Nancy Pelosi. The Congresswoman Stefanik, chair of the House Republican Conference, sits on the Armed Service, Intelligence, and Education and Labor Committees, is in focus now. Good to see you. First of all, why did you, why did you say that? What do, what do you see this as? And politically, how does it play? Well, first of all, I was just home in my district for two weeks, traveling to 10 different counties. And the issues that I heard from my constituents and voters, they were concerned about inflation. They're concerned about the skyrocketing gas prices. They're concerned about the increase in crime that we're seeing, not just in New York State, but across America. All of these crises are a direct result of Joe Biden and Nancy Pelosi and House Democrats' failed agenda. And what do the Democrats want to talk about? They want to talk about January 6th. But importantly, their committee is not focused on finding out why the Capitol was so ill-prepared, why the Capitol Police were not given the training and resources, why they were at half-staff on January 6th. These are important questions that Nancy Pelosi and Democrats don't care about because they kicked off the Republican-appointed members of the committee, which is why it's illegitimate. All right. A Washington Examiner op-ed asked what it would be like if there were GOP-appointed members on the committee answering, quote-unquote, the only certain answer is that, unlike now, there would be a difference in perspectives among the members. There would be members to challenge the assertions of other members who could then respond. There would be differences of emphasis. There would be, in short, the kind of interactions that congressional committees are supposed to have, which speaks to the issue of what you're talking about. You got a lot of questions, don't know if you'll be able to press them from your office. Well, that's exactly right, Harris. And I go back to the impeachment sham hearings back in 2019 focused on President Trump. And even those partisan hearings allowed Republicans in the basement of the skiff, Adam Schiff's uh, absolute partisan witch hunt, Republicans were allowed to be in there. So we were able to cross-examine the witnesses and also focus on the facts. Uh, we were able to do that in the open hearing. The fact that there are no Republican-appointed members appointed by the Republican leader shows that Democrats and members of that committee don't want to to have those tough questions, one of those major questions is why is Speaker Pelosi's office the only office off limits from this investigation? We know, based upon reporting, that there were warnings about potential violence on January 6th. And why did she not ensure that the Capitol Police had the resources they needed? That's an interesting and very critical question, too, because we know we have video of people who made it into that office. So you would think that they would want to offer that up for certain to take a look at that. Um, one last quick one on this, too. Uh, representatives Kissinger and uh, Cheney, Liz Cheney, the argument has been made, but they are Republicans. Well, they are Nancy Pelosi's appointees, and everyone Ameri across America needs to know that. Every single member that was appointed by Kevin McCarthy uh, is not on the committee. That's because Nancy Pelosi broke 200-plus years of precedent by not allowing the Republican minority leader to appoint members of a sitting committee. That has never happened yes. before, Harris. That's why this committee is illegitimate and does not serve a legislative purpose. Yeah. Imagine if 9-11, the commission, had been run this way. Would we have all of the lessons at our fingertips? That, and, and like you said, there are, there are a lot of things that we don't know. In fact, we probably don't know what we don't know if we don't have a fair commission. All right, let's get to this. Uh, a lot of people saw this yesterday, and then our Brett Baer interviewed him. Matthew McConaughey making an impassioned plea for gun legislation. Here's what he said inside the White House yesterday. We are in a window of opportunity right now that we have not been in before, a window where it seems like real change. Real change can't happen. We need to restore our American values and we need responsible gun ownership. Responsible gun ownership. We need background checks. This should not be a partisan issue. Congresswoman, you're introducing a bill to enhance gun safety. 
Absolutely. My bill provides an incentive in terms of a tax credit for safe gun storage, safe training. I am a proud lawful gun owner. My husband is a proud lawful gun owner. I represent hundreds of thousands of lawful gun owners in my district. It's important for self-defense. It's important for sportsman uh, activities. It's important for hunting. What really concerns me is Democrats are utilizing this tragedy to immediately politicize it and focus on stripping Second Amendment rights and focusing on their radical gun control legislation. The facts are, in the last decade, Harris, the only party that has passed uh, legislation to secure schools and to close loopholes were Republicans. We passed Fix Nix, which ensured more accurate information sharing of mental health records between states and federal agencies. We also passed the Stop School Violence Act to provide $1 billion going towards school resource officers, which I have in my district and are in districts across America. So we've delivered those results. This is the Democrats attempting to politicize this issue while shredding the Constitution. One thing that I'm hearing across parties about Matthew McConaughey's word inside the White House was that line about American values. And I'm not hearing Democrats talk about that today. But if you want to be yoked in a room to talk about some of the same things, my gosh, maybe that would get it there. You've got your bill. Maybe they could start there. America's watching. And I'm really appreciative of you being in focus. Thank you. Thank you, Harris. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.